Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to introduce to you the Dell operator. And yes, it is written as an upside down triangle. So what is the Dell operator? Well, it is an operator. But then what does an operator do? Well, it operates on things. And a Dell operator can operate on both vectors and scalar functions. So by definition, we can say that it's an operator that can operate on a scalar function or on a vector function. And on a vector function, there's two options. It can do so via the dot product or via the cross product. So we can define the Dell operator as follows. It is equal to the x unit vector times the partial derivative with respect to x plus the y unit vector times the partial derivative with respect to y plus the z unit vector times the partial derivative with respect to z. So essentially what it is, the Dell operator takes the derivative of something and then turns it either into a vector or a scalar quantity. And it depends how we use the operator. So again, we can operate on a scalar or we can operate on a vector. And when we do it on a vector quantity or vector function, it's either via the dot product or the cross product. So what do they look like? Well, here we have the Dell operator operating on a scalar function, which is a function of x, y, and z. So essentially, we're multiplying the Dell operator times the function. Well, it's not really multiplying. Essentially what's going on here is you're going to end up with the x unit vector times the partial derivative with respect to x of the scalar function plus the y unit vector times the partial derivative with respect to y again of that scalar function plus the z unit vector times the partial derivative with respect to z of that scalar function. So we're taking the partial derivative of the scalar function three ways, first with respect to x, then with respect to y, then with respect to z, and those three quantities then become the component or the magnitude of the x, y, and z direction. In essence, that will result in a vector quantity, and that vector quantity is called the gradient. So if we use the del operator and we operate on a scalar function, we end up with what we call the gradient. It's a vector. Now we're going to show you later what a gradient actually is and show you some examples of how that's done. Next, we can take a look at the operation on a vector function. Or, yeah, or what we call a vector, um, yeah, a vector function. Hmm. Anyway, let me try it again. All right. So next, we're going to take a look at how the Dell operator operates on a vector function, either via the dot product or the cross product. If it does so via the dot product, again, we have our del operator dotted with the vector. Let's say we have an A vector that has an X, a Y, and a Z component. So essentially, just like with any dot, dot product, we multiply the X components together, the Y components together, and the Z components together, and we end up with a scalar. But it's not really the multiplication of components. What's going on here is we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to X of the X component of the uh, function, of the vector function. And then we're going to multiply or not multiply, we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component of the vector, and then we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component of the vector. So we're going to do it three times, partial with respect to x of the x component, partial with respect to y of the y component, and partial with respect to z of the z component. Add those three together so we end up with a scalar quantity and that's called the divergence of that vector function. Again, we may not know yet what a divergence is. We'll show you some examples of that later. So if the del operator operates on a, on a scalar function, we get a vector that's called a gradient. And if we operate on a, on a vector function via the dot product, we end up with a scalar called a divergence. And finally, we can take the del operator and operate on a vector via a cross product. And of course, then a cross product can be defined like this. We have the x, y, and z unit vectors. The second row becomes the partial derivative with respect to x, the partial derivative with respect to y, and the partial derivative with respect to z. And then in the third row, we get the x, y, and z components of the vector that we're operating on. Then we end up with another vector, and we'll show you later how this is done. Of course, this is simply doing the cross product, which use the same technique, and we'll show you how that's done. It's called a vector result. So whatever we do here, we get a vector, and that is called the curl of that vector function. So notice 
three times we can, we can operate with a Dell operator on either a scalar or a vector quantity. There's three different ways in which that is done. The result is either a vector which is called a gradient, a scalar which is called a divergence, or another vector which is called a curl. And later on we'll show you how we do that, what the actual meaning is of those things, and then we'll show you what they're good for. So, learning this is very important. We're going to see that many, many times in this series. Uh, the advanced electricity and magnetism, very useful tools to know. I will show you all the nitty-gritty detail of how this is all done. And that is how we do that. Am I putting you to sleep already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. This is riveting, isn't it?